हेलो फाइनेंशियल प्रोग्रामर्स वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ धन ए पी आई प्ले लिस्ट एंड एज आई प्रोमिस्ड इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एंटायर पाइथन लाइब्रेरी टू ऑटोमेट योर ट्रेडिंग प्रैक्टिस राइट इफ यू रिमेंबर आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन अबाउट वॉट इज धन ए पी आई एंड हाउ टू एक्सेस द एंटायर धन ए पी आई एंड हाउ टू गेट द एक्सेस क्यूर राइट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी the dhan hq python library that we will use to automate our trades if you remember in the last video i uh, showed you this particular screen where uh, i told you about pip install dhan hq right and this is the way we will be uh, installing the dhan hq python library into our uh, python platform in this video i am going to use google collab as my python uh, platform you just you can just write it on google google collab and this screen will open in front of you so yeah in order to install this library just copy this right click on uh, this button this will automatically copy pip install dhan hq go here and paste it here and shift enter right if you shift enter or run it from this button then it will automatically install the dhan hq library that's it you don't need to do any manual stuff here now let's uh, go down to this particular uh, uh, website and you'll see that it's pretty much clear how to use different types of functions but in this video i am going to show you how to place buy and sell order um, and automate your trades right so i'll just go to the documentation of dhan both these links are mentioned in the description box you can just click on that and come to this particular url and here if you click on the left hand side orders Uh, option you'll see this particular function which is dhan dot place order right this is the most important function of dhan api because this is used to trigger buy or sell order using the dhan api right so this is the code dhan dot place order place underscore order and then data what is the data this is the entire data that we are going to uh, input in this particular code so i'll just copy it by clicking here copy to uh, clipboard i'll copy it and come back to this one right this is the function that i'm going to use but before that we will have to um, authenticate we'll have to log in dhan's uh, account and use the access code that we mentioned in the last video uh, to place this order right so i'll just keep it down here or well, let me just do one thing uh, let me just insert some lines of code by clicking on the code button so i'm extracting i'm importing actually dhan hq from dhan hq you just need to write from dhan hq all lower case uh, letters import dhan hq right this is how we'll importing the uh, uh, the dhan hq library in order to uh, automate our trades right my client id is this one and the access token is this one so if you remember in the last video i uh, mentioned about how to uh, get the access code this is the access code i copied it here like by clicking on this button and then came back to the python code i pasted it here right so my client id is mentioned here it will be different in your case the access code is this one this access code uh, can actually be made uh, i would say uh, it can have a validity so in this case i'm actually having it for 7 days and i can delete it any time right which i will do just after recording this video um so yeah i i come back to this one now i'll have to authenticate uh, uh using client id and access code which can be easily done by using dhan hq function and then providing client id and access code as inputs right if i uh run this particular cell if you remember by pressing shift enter right this is how we uh, run any particular cell in uh, google collab or in jupiter lab etc so it will run this cell if you uh, see what is dhan it is basically authenticated and now we can use dhan's api very easily okay perfect now let's come back to the function that we have written previously i'll just directly come here right um okay so i'm placing the order 
This tag is not required. Transaction type is dhan dot buy. I'm buying something. Exchange segment is dhan dot NAC. We can do it BAC as well. But in this case, let's just do NAC. Uh, product type is dhan dot intra. I'm doing intra uh, intra day trade. Order type is dhan dot market. It can be limit. Validity is day. Security ID is 1333. In this case, HDFC, I'll change it uh, to SpiceJet, for example. Uh, and I'll show you how to get the security ID for different stocks. Right? Quantity is, say, 1. Right? And then other things are, it can be actually kept like this only. You don't need to touch that. So let me just go to the documentation again. And here you'll see the description all of all the different inputs that we have provided. The first one is transaction type, right? Are you buying or are you selling, right? If it's a buy uh, order, you just need to write B-U-Y in capital letters, right? In uppercase. Uh, exchange, in this case, I'm using NSE, right? I, as I mentioned, you could see, uh, you could use BSE as well. Um, intraday trade, right? Market order, validity is just day, it's not delivery. In this case, you can uh, make a delivery as well. Uh, security ID is that number if you remember 133 something. So in order to get this uh, security ID entire Excel file or entire database, you just need to click on the refer and then here, there's a link over here. If you click over here, this Excel file will get uh, downloaded, right? Now here, this is the third column is basically the security ID. Now let me just go here and uh, say, um, just write it uh, SpiceJet, right? And let me do find all. So there are the four results that I've got for SpiceJet. I'll have to uh, select the NAC uh, SpiceJet, right? Yeah, so I think this is the one. Um, perfect, so this is NAC, right, equity. This is the uh, script code, so I'll just copy this particular code. This equity, uh, SpiceJet, and uh, perfect. So I'll just copy this one, which is 11406. I'll come back to the code that we've written. I'll write it over here, right? 11446, it belongs to SpiceJet. If it is something else, for example, HDFC, you can search HDFC Bank over there and you'll see a different security ID for HDFC Bank. Let's come back to the uh, uh, other parameters that we have provided. Quantity, number of shares for the order. Let's do just one share for this uh, uh, example. Price, uh, it is a required parameter. Basically, if you are placing uh, a market order, you don't need to write uh, any particular price, you just mention price is equal to zero, right? If it's a limit order, then you'll have to mention the price that you would like to consider while buying or selling that particular order, right? So because I'm doing the market order, I'll keep price equal to zero, which I have done, if you see in this example, right? And the other things uh, um, like uh, trigger price, and these are the conditionally required uh, arguments, you can keep them as it is, you don't need to do anything over there. So let's come back to the, the function that we have created here. Um, if we run this cell, yes, it has actually placed a buy order. It's a success order, right? You can note down the order ID for your reference, right? And uh, yeah, it's done. So this is how we place the buy order. Now. Now, we are using some uh, a different function here to get to know if the order is placed or not, which is position.getPositions uh, because we have to see that the order has, has been executed, which is actually uh, the case in this, uh, in this uh, particular scenario. The status is success, right? And we can see SpiceJet is already placed. So, our order has already been placed and I am right now holding one share of SpiceJet. Uh, um, and this is the real, uh, actually, buy order that I have placed on SpiceJet, right? Now, how to sell this particular share, right? As, as, you, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's an intraday order. I can definitely sell it uh, today itself, and it will be considered as an intraday order only. So I'll copy that function and paste it over here. I'll keep everything exactly the same, just I'll change this to dhan.sell. As simple as that, right? 
The exchange is also the same, which is NAC, Dhan.NAC. It's an intraday trade as well, Dhan.Intra. Market order, I'm not uh, preferring any limit order in this case. Validity is day, security IDs is, all, uh, is also exactly the same because I'm trading uh, SpiceJet in this example. Quantity, just one because I hold just one SpiceJet share. And I'll just uh, shift enter this particular cell and you'll see that uh, yes, it is also being executed and I've sold this share that I've bought uh, a minute back. So yeah, it's as simple as that. You just need to use this particular function to buy or sell any particular stock. Uh, very important points to note here is you should always keep an eye on the exchange that you're using, which is NAC or BAC. You should always focus on uh, whether you're buying or selling. You should uh, like provide it over here. It's a market order or a limit order. And the last but most important thing is you should always double check the security ID because uh, this is something which will directly be used in this particular code. And uh, um, the, the stock which refers to that particular security ID will be bought or sold. So yeah, that's it in this video. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to place stop loss uh, target price in any particular order because in this case, there's no stop loss, there's no target price. We'll also see how to uh, extract the trade book so that you can extract the entire transactional information of what you have done uh, in that particular day or like in different days. So yeah, that would be the motive for, then, uh, for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Investments in the securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.